In this tutorial, you will learn how to model and animate a cool-looking split-flap display, such as the one shown here, in Blender. A split flap display is a great way to spice up any video requiring an eye-catching timeline indicator. A film about your baby's first year of life would be a great example of such a video. In a split flap display, there are flaps attached by hinges to a rotating shaft. Each flap contains the picture of the top or bottom of a digit or word on each side. Two adjacent vertically oriented flaps at the front of the display form a full number or word. This is the side view of a split flap display. The unidirectionally rotating shaft puts each of its flap through three phases. During the first phase, the flap hangs down from its point of attachment by gravity. During the second phase, the flap leans on the carrier shaft until its bottom points upwards. And finally, the flap quickly drops down. In Blender, the movement of the flaps can be animated using drivers. The rotation angle of each flap can be expressed as a mathematical function of the rotation angle of the shaft. We have developed an online calculator generating these mathematical functions automatically. It takes a single input value, the total number of flaps per shaft. Let's start modeling. Delete the default cube by pressing X. Press 1 on the numeric keypad to switch to the front orthographic view. Select 3D cursor as the pivot point. Press Shift A, and add a circle. In the Add Circle window, enter 10 for the number of vertices, as there will be 10 flaps in our display. Rotate the circle by 90 degrees around the x-axis by pressing R, X, 90, then enter. Press Ctrl A, and select Apply Rotation. Press Tab to enter the edit mode. The circle needs to be positioned in such a way that the leftmost edge is vertical, but in our case it is already so. Select the bottom vertex of the leftmost edge. Press Shift S and select cursor to selected. This is where our first flap will be attached. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Press Shift A, and add a plane. Rotate it by 90 degrees around the Y axis by pressing R, Y, 90, then enter. Press Ctrl A, and select Apply Rotation. Press Tab to enter the edit mode. Give this plane the depth of 0.04 by pressing E, X, 0.04, then enter. Press Tab to exit the edit mode. Move the plane back by 0.02 to keep it centered, by pressing G, X, negative 0.02, then enter. Move the plane downward so that its top lies slightly beneath the x-axis, by pressing G, then Z. From the object menu on top, select Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. While pressing the Shift key, select the circle. Press Ctrl P, and select Parent to Object, to make the circle parent of the plane. A thin dotted line should appear, denoting this relationship. Press Shift-C to return the 3D cursor to the origin. Select the plane. In the Object Properties tab on the right, right-click the Rotation Y box and select Add Driver. In the Material Properties tab, add a material, call it white, and press Use Nodes. We will return to the materials later. Let's animate the flap with the help of drivers. Open a new window. Select Drivers as the window type. Select Y Euler Rotation on the left. While hovering the mouse over the Drivers window, press N to open the side panel. Open the Driver tab. All the flaps of our display will be driven by the circle object. Scroll down and select Circle as the object. Select Y Rotation for type. Replace the variable var with the letter a. Scroll up until the expression box is visible. 
Go to the online calculator at www.atvinta.com slash splitflap.html. Copy the content of the flap 1 box and paste it into the expression box. Duplicate the flap and rotate by negative 36 degrees around the y-axis, by pressing Shift D, R, Y, negative 36, then Enter. Copy the content of the calculator's flap 2 box and paste it into the expression box of the second flap. Continue duplicating the flaps, and copying and pasting the expressions from the calculator, until all 10 flaps are created. Select the circle and give it a spin around the y-axis to make sure the flaps behave correctly. Now is a good time to save our work. Let's now assign images of numbers to the flaps. The image files used in this tutorial can be downloaded from www.atvinta.com slash tutorial17.html. Change the window type for the top window to shading editor. Select the first flap. Add a new material. Press new. Call it zero bottom. Click to the right of base color and select image texture. Press open and select the image 0b.png. Press tab to enter the edit mode. Switch to the face select mode. Select the front face. Select the zero bottom material and click assign. Exit the edit mode. Switch to the material preview mode on the top right. The image needs to be rotated by 90 degrees. In the top window, press Shift A, and select Input, Texture Coordinates. Press Shift A again and select Vector, Mapping. Connect the boxes as follows, UV to Vector on the left, and Vector to Vector on the right. In the Rotation Z box, choose a value by trial and error. It should be either 90 or negative 90. We will use this material as a template for all other materials. In the Materials tab, click on this arrow and select Copy Material. Select the top flap. Add a new material. Press New. Call it Zero Top. Press the arrow and select Paste Material. Press Open Image and select the image 0t.png. In the Edit Mode, select the front face and press Assign. In the top window, change the Z rotation value if necessary. The number 0 is ready. Select the circle and advance to the next number by pressing R, Y, negative 36, then Enter. Select the bottom flap. Add a material. Press New. Call it one bottom. Press an arrow and select Paste Material. In the Edit Mode, select the front face and assign this material to it. Click Open and select the image 1b.png. The picture seems to be oriented correctly. Select the top flap. Add a material, press New, call it one top, paste the material. In the edit mode, assign it to the front face.
Change the rotation Z value from negative 90 to 90. It turns out, the bottom picture is not oriented correctly after all. Select the bottom flap. Change the scale X value to negative 1 and rotation Z value to 90. Continue with the rest of the numbers in the same manner. Set scale x value to 1 or negative 1, and rotation z value to 90 or negative 90 by trial and error. Save your work often. Our single digit display is ready. Let's duplicate it three times to create a four digit display. Select all the flaps and circle. Press Shift D, Y, 2.5, then enter. Press Shift R twice to repeat this operation. To animate it, we will use a Python script provided by us. Go back to the calculator page. Press show sample script. Copy the script to the clipboard. Back in Blender, change the window type for the top window to text editor. Press new. Paste the script from the clipboard. The script assumes there are four sections in this display, and the names of the driver objects are circle, circle.001, circle.002, and circle.003. You should modify this line if your objects have different names. The script makes the display show a sequence of arbitrary numbers specified here. Press Run Script. Press Space Bar or the Play button to start the simulation. And this concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.